I first met JYD when he was wrestling uh, down in uh, for Nick Goulis in Tennessee. And me and Dog always been the best friend. One of the funniest things that ever happened to me and Dog was this wrestler named Uncle Elmer. Uncle Elmer. And he used to take these pills, which now we know is opium. And he gave me one, he gave JYD one. So me, JYD, and Mike, uh, they just call him the IRS Rotonda, Mike Rotonda. So Mike Rotonda is sitting in the back, JYD sitting in the front seat, and we're in upstate New York. We're, we're up around Syracuse and, and that area. So we're driving back to Utica, because we all stayed in Utica, we we're upstate New York. So I told Dog, I said, wow, there's a lot of 18 wheelers out here. Dog said, what are you talking about? I said, look at all them trucks. Dog said, what trucks? I said, Brad, there's a lot of trucks out here. Dog said, pull over, pull over, pull the fuck over. So I pull over. Dog said, how many trucks did you see? I said, oh, about five of them. He said, Tony, it was only one. Mike, what time to say? Well, it's a good thing you didn't try to pass him. <laughs> so we're talking to, we never did drugs. He drove us back to the hotel. When we got to the hotel, it kicked in on dog. Dog couldn't walk. So he go to the hotel on hands and knees. And the, and, and they had the, 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 he tell the lady, he said, uh, Sylvester Rilla, the lady go, who is that? She said, are you a Vic Critter? She asked me, are you a Vic Critter? I go, no. Well, what about you? You a Vic, you know, Vic Critter? She, she, he said, no. <laughs> I said, well, who, who is Sylvester Rilla? Mike was trying to go. And she looked over the counter. Give me a semester where give me the key. He couldn't walk. <laughs> then the next morning, he was out in the parking lot wrestling an invisible man for his ticket. Like this. There was nobody there. And, I, and then after we showed up, we said, no matter what, don't take nothing from Uncle Elmer. Uh, for JYD, I heard a story, that, or actually in your book, about uh, the girls would actually pay him to have sex with. That's right. One of the, uh, 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 JYD, Junkyard Dog, I used to wan and dan all the girls. I buy them the tennis shoes to walk on me, I take them to dinner, I buy everything for them. Take them shopping, whatever they want. Dog said, Tony, you the star. They should be paying you. So one day we needed some money because we wanted to get, I hate to say it, but we wanted to get some cocaine that night. We wanted to get some drugs. So Dog said, well, I'm about out of money. How much money you got, Tony? I said, well, I got about $150. He said, oh, that ain't, a, that ain't enough. He said, he said, we get some money. So he get on the phone. We called this girl over. She came. She threw $200 on the table. She got on top of dog, did her thing, got dressed, took a shower, and left. Dog said, honey, here you go, kid. He said, now we can get ourselves something. He said, they should be paying you. The girl we paid dog to be with him. I, I, I've never seen that. Any wrestler do that. He prostituted himself to the girl. He wouldn't go to bed with him for free. He said, you the star. They should be paying you. That was his belief. He would he would never go with a girl to bed free. She had to pay to be with him. Wow. Yeah, he sure did.